Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. We're winding down our Saturday lineup with a Western from Universal starring Jimmy Stewart, Shelley Winters, and Dan Duryea. From 1950, it's Winchester 73. The movie was directed by Anthony Mann, and it marked the first of eight films that Mann would go on to make with Jimmy Stewart. Five of these were Westerns, beginning with Winchester 73, but they weren't the kinds of Westerns that Hollywood had been used to. In the years after World War II, audiences wanting something different from the innocent, optimistic pictures that Hollywood had churned out before and during the war. This was the period when film noir reached the height of its popularity, and in the Western genre, films like Winchester 73 began to add new psychological layers to the simpler formula that had been popular before the war. In Anthony Mann's Westerns, which included later films like The Man from Laramie and The Naked Spur, Jimmy Stewart was a far cry from the noble heroes of the old Westerns. Instead, he introduced a new kind of Western hero to the screen, a dark, even maniacal figure who's obsessed with getting revenge for an injustice that took place in his past. The distinction between hero and villain in these films is much less clear than in the traditional Westerns of earlier decades. In Winchester 73, Stewart starts out on a quest to find the man who killed his father, but he soon becomes sidetracked by another revenge mission when his Winchester rifle is stolen from him. Here from 1950, also featuring brief appearances from Hollywood newcomers Rock Hudson and Tony Curtis, Winchester 73. 